21st Century Entrepreneurship with Martin Piskarik. If you'd like to make more money from email marketing your email list without seeming like an annoying corporate douchebag and annoying your list, uh, then I'd like to show you how to write emails in a way that's actually fun to read and profitable. My name is Ian Stanley, and I've sold over $200 million worth of products and services online. And I've done a lot of that through email, but I wasn't always, you know, it wasn't always that way. I think the origin story really starts with when I was in college, I started buying all of the different products on ClickBank, trying to make money online. I knew I was either going to work for the government or for myself. I got uh, mugged at knife point when I was 15 years old and got super into martial arts and self-defense and thought I was either going to go into the special forces uh, or work for myself. There was really no in between. And so uh, while I was at college, <clears throat> I was just trying to make money online, buying all the different courses, trying to do everything. Really, I was trying to you know, buy traffic and create products and do all these different things. And I ended up just deciding to get really, after like a year or two of, you know, not really succeeding, I decided to get really good at one thing and that was email copywriting and email marketing. And so that was when I was about 21 or two, I'm 34 now. So basically my entire adult life, I've been writing emails. Um, <clears throat> and I ended up working with a company in the credit improvement space is just an ebook on how to improve your credit score. And we had a list of over a million people. And so we would split test four to eight different types of emails every single time. And I just learned a ton and I got obsessed with it. And then from there, I ended up building my own lists and selling. Uh, I ended up I built, I think, four different seven-figure companies, one of which I sold to the fastest growing startup in Canada. Uh, anything from water filters to survival products to info products to all sorts of different things. And so uh, all of it's just been based on building email lists and sending emails to those people. And so that's been really the thing that's allowed me to, you know, travel to Croatia, uh, travel all over the world and, you know, do all the things I want to do. I work one or two hours a day. I've never worked too much more than that. Uh, and it's just because I know how to write persuasive emails that are actually fun and interesting to read and that don't annoy the shit out of you and that don't sound like corporate mayonnaise that makes you want to fall asleep or kill yourself. I've written in, you know, all sorts of different types of niches. I've sold products that are $7 up to $25,000 masterminds, $2,000 solar power generators you know everything you can think of more or less i have sold something of that nature at some point in the last 10 years and what i've learned when it comes to email is that there are a handful of email types that make the most money and i'll talk about ai as well and how it all kind of relates but essentially what it comes down to is first off is that people create a connection with people more than companies. So your emails should feel like they're written almost to a friend or from a friend. They should be conversational. Uh, they should be written at a third grade level. So there's a tool called HemingwayApp.com. It's free. And I recommend putting all of your emails into it and getting down to a third grade level because anything above that is, it's, it's not about being stupid. It's not about pandering to a a dumb customer or anything. It's about being concise and using language that's easy to understand and where you're not wasting a bunch of words. And so what I really learned is that people develop a connection with the person who's sending the emails. And so the more you share about yourself or your company, the more of a connection your audience has to you. And also the more you email, the more you make. I, I, I'm yet to find a situation where that's not true. I send almost daily emails and the less you send, the less of a you know deep relationship you have with your audience. And so many people are afraid of emailing their subscribers, whether it's free subscribers or buyers. And you know, they're like, oh, I'm annoying people. Well, you're only annoying people if you suck. 
you're only annoying people if you're writing shit emails. So if you're writing interesting emails, you're not annoying people. People are happy to receive emails from you. In fact, my list, when I don't send every day, they're more annoyed that I'm not sending them more emails because they want to hear from me because I've developed this relationship over, you know, a long period of time. But you also have to be able to develop a relationship quickly and have really good welcome emails and everything like that. And so what it really comes down to is writing in a way that sounds like a real human, that sounds like how a person would speak, not like how a college professor would write a boring paper. Um, and so some of the best emails you can write are what I call paradigm shift emails or myth busting emails. So take things that people believe to be true within their industry and then basically say why the opposite is actually true. So maybe that's you know, you've probably heard that breakfast is the most important meal, but did you know that one of the easiest ways to lose fat is actually to skip breakfast and make your first meal around 1 or 2 p.m.? All right, something simple like that can be, you know, and obviously a lot of people nowadays know about intermittent fasting and stuff, but anytime you take sort of a commonly held belief and then you show why it might be true to do something opposite, like you probably think you should only email your list once a week or once every month. Well, I would actually argue that you should email if not daily, at least a few times a week, because you're going to build a deeper relationship with your audience, make more money, get better opens, get more clicks, all those good things. You know, when it comes to AI, my personal belief, at least like a year ago, was that I hated it. To be perfectly honest, I, I couldn't stand it. I tried ChatGPT and what I found was, at least for email, that it was very soulless and sort of, you know, stilted, boring. It didn't sound, it's, it felt like a robot wrote it. And that's like the worst thing you can do when it comes to email specifically. I think ChatGPT is very good at certain things. Like if you want to come up with YouTube titles, you it'll do a very good job because ChatGPT has scoured the internet it's seen all of the YouTube videos that have performed the best. And it says, oh, these are the titles that work well. Well, when it comes to email, ChatGPT hasn't scoured all the emails. And even if it did, it wouldn't know which ones made money. It would just know which ones are getting sent all the time, which are these generic corporate like, hey, just circling back, just wanted to, you know, just a gentle nudge, just wanted to put this at the top of your room. And you're like, God, these are the worst emails ever. So that's really what ChatGPT thinks is good. And so... um, a customer of mine actually developed an AI based on my voice and my teachings. And I was very hesitant and I didn't, I, I looked at it once and I was like, yeah, I'm not interested. And then a few months later, I I looked at it again and I was un, like just amazed at what it wrote because it sounded more human than most humans and it sounded like a real person. And so sort of my stance on AI at this point is at least when it comes to email, chat GPT is basically like a general doctor, right? It's kind of good at a lot of things but it's not really good at anything. Uh, and specifically, it's not really good at email. So like our AI tool was trained literally on all my emails, thousands of them, my teachings and all this. So it's basically a surgeon that's been specifically trained in one area and is very good at this one thing. And so you can put in prompts that basically, actually most of the prompts are all done for you. And you basically can just say, I want an email to say this type of thing and it'll write a story um, and then relate it back to your product. That's really one of the biggest things that I could teach anyone is to tell more stories. Your list wants to know about you. You know, people say that in copywriting, the most valuable word is you. But the reality is with email, it's sort of the opposite. You actually want to talk about yourself. You want to be kind of vain and tell stories because that's how people develop the connection and people buy from people they trust. And so you build that trust through storytelling and through connecting and through sort of sharing the parts of yourself that may not seem, you know, I'm, I'm a diehard Liverpool fan and I'll talk about that in my emails and that may not seem related to making money online or making money with email, but it connects people to me and lets them understand who I am and give them a better understanding of me as a person, which makes them then more likely to buy. So <clears throat> really it just comes down to, you know, writing like a real person, trying to write your emails as if you're writing them to your best friend you know, and not putting in a bunch of corporate jargon and, and stuff that's just uninteresting.
if you're interested in writing personality based human sounding emails that actually make money you can try out my tool it's at emailgamechangers.com it's free to try out there's a trial uh, and if you don't like it then you've wasted a little bit of time but if you do like it we have people it typically will save you 80 percent or more of your time on writing so if it takes you you know for me it takes me 10 15 minutes to write an email to my list which is a lot faster than most people for most people it's an hour or two and so a lot of people don't write enough emails because they can't think of what to write they can't figure it out and so this tool basically eliminates all that you can write broadcast emails to your daily or weekly emails to your list story-based emails so you can literally put in a one word prompt like i stubbed my toe this morning on my way to get my coffee literally that one sentence and it'll write an entire story and relate it back to your product and sell it for you um there you go um and then uh, there's a copy coach, so you can put your emails in there and it'll tell you basically as though I was sitting in the room with you critiquing your email, telling you what to improve. And then probably the coolest thing we have now is you can write entire sequences for uh, like, well, your welcome sequence is the most important thing you'll ever write for your business is basically once somebody opts into your list or buys a product, do you have an actual sequence that's designed to make them use the product or use your information, fall in love with you and become a subscriber for life. That's how, you know, we run a lot of ads and we lose a little bit of money on the front end. And then by day seven to 14, we're making, you know, a few dollars for every subscriber. And by day 30, you know, we're doubling our money because of the relationship we're building through email. And if you think email is the thing that people are just annoyed by, like this is actually one of the best advantages of email. If you want to be really good at Instagram or YouTube, you're competing with really world-class creators, especially YouTube. You're competing with Mr. Beast and, you know, celebrities and people who are making awesome YouTube videos. With email, you're competing with people who suck at what they do. Like almost every company sucks at email. So by being just a bit better than everybody, you exalt yourself into this really high status where, you know, I have almost 40% opens to my list of you know, people that love reading what I have to say and who buy pretty much everything I, well, everything I sell. Uh, I have people who've been on my list for almost 10 years who I have over 55 courses and they've bought 50 courses. And that's because of the relationship that we've built over email. And so, you know, literally four or five months ago, I would have told you go buy my courses and hand copy emails and get really good at it. But now with the AI tool, it's kind of crazy because a random person off the street within 10 minutes can write high converting, compelling, persuasive, interesting emails with the AI tool without having to go to ChatGPT and hoping that it, you know, produces something that you can actually read. My daily routine is basically I get up when I want. I only use an alarm if I have to, like if I have a, a flight or something like that. I don't use an alarm. I sleep like eight, eight hours, nine hours a night. Um, and basically for me, the most important thing. So I'll wake up and I will write an email to my list is the most important thing. So uh, as long as I do that, which to me takes 10 to 15 minutes or these days I'll use the AI sometimes. I'm kind of beyond the AI and certain not beyond it, but I'm not really the target demographic. It's really for like your normal average business owner or copywriter who wants to write better emails faster. So I still like to write because I'm a writer, you know, and I've got a screenplay that I'm working on uh, for a movie about pickleball. I've got a novel I'm working on about a comedian who kills people. Um, and so I basically in the mornings will write i work out and uh and i i ice bath every morning i i know that's a traditional entrepreneur answer now but i've been doing ice baths for like a decade i went to iceland for a, at a wim hof event a few years ago and um so i love ice baths and I, I play soccer and i basically my morning is work and then i you know i don't do too much for the rest of the day unless i have you know podcasts or interviews and things and then i i pretty much my main thing now outside of work is I'm a stand-up comedian. And so I just released my first special on YouTube and uh, I've, I basically just do stand-up and make YouTube videos. And 
that's where the rest of my time goes is just having a good time, you know, making comedy videos and, and then the rest of the time is, you know, focused on the business. But that's the cool thing about email is you don't have to, it's exponential income because as your list grows, you do the same amount of work each day, but you make more and more money. So over the past, you know, few years, the list just keeps growing and I just keep working the same amount and I make more money. If you want to write better emails without having to spend much time on it, go to emailgamechangers.com, check out the free trial. I think you'll love it. And then uh, if you're more into the comedy side of things, you can find me on Instagram at Becoming Ian Stanley or just Ian Stanley on YouTube. Uh, do not go there if you're easily offended or you find words to be offensive. My comedy is much more on the controversial side, so definitely do not check out my stuff if you're not interested in offensive comedy. If you are, go follow me there. If you're not, just, you know, you can still learn all the email stuff and learn how to make more money, but uh, don't follow my social media. 21st Century Entrepreneurship with Martin Piskarik. Imagine a space where triumphs, trials, and tales of entrepreneurship come alive. Welcome to the 21st Century Entrepreneurship Podcast, a gold awarded journey hosted by Martin Piskorik, connecting with listeners in 95 countries and ranking in the top 0.5% of all podcasts. Join our exclusive community, elevate your perspective and embark on the path to success.